a sudden just a ton of smoke came out. So I yelled fire a few times. At 11, a plane makes an emergency landing at Jacksonville International Airport today after a fire broke out inside of the cabin. Ten people were taken to the hospital. They are expected to be okay. Spirit Airlines says that a passenger's battery in an overhead bin caught fire. Several people say the plane quickly filled with smoke. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Crawford and I'm Anthony Austin. So this flight from Dallas was supposed to land in Orlando. On your sides, Andrew Badillo is joining us live at the airport in Jacksonville tonight. And Andrew, I know you were there earlier. You met some of the passengers at baggage claim. What did they tell you about this flight? Yeah, Anthony. Well, first off, it was a long day for people on board that flight, and I spoke with several of them, and they were just thankful for the quick actions of one other passenger and the crew members who they say helped put out that fire. A video taken by a passenger inside Spirit Flight 259. His crew members try to put out a fire mid-flight. There was a retired fireman that jumped up and a uh, flight crew came in and uh, they tried putting water on it and then another guy got went and got a bucket because uh, I think the fireman reached in and grabbed it and uh, they got it put out, but it took about 20 minutes. After the fire was put out, Kerry Arakawa says the plane prepared for an emergency landing. The pilot got us out of the air really fast. It was it was exciting and had a really smooth landing of all the things, but it was quite frightening for a little while until we knew we were on the ground and safe. Jacksonville Fire and Rescue says it transported 10 people who were on the plane to the hospital, but expects them to be okay. It's an ordeal Arakawa won't forget. The, the crew and the people jumping in and helping were really pretty calm about it, and so I think that really helped keep everything down. Um, they, as soon as we landed, they had fire crew and medical crew to help anybody that needed it, but they did an excellent job. It could have been so much worse. And just for some added context on the timeline of the events that happened today, the plane did land in Jacksonville close to 4 p.m. JFRD saying that around 6 p.m., nine additional passengers were taken to the hospital. JFRD saying that those passengers weren't feeling well but are expected to be okay. That is in addition to the initial passenger that we reported on earlier today. Everyone, as JRFRD said, is expected to be okay. The FAA says it will also investigate the incident. We're live here at Jacksonville International Airport. Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.